for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. His adversary. By the way of the club. They're underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Blocks the headshot. Teddy, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Solid left hand to the head. He scored well after being hit himself. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. Keep doing what you're doing. And there he counters back against his opponent. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Tried the hook, didn't get it. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Left hook, right uppercut. Both hit the head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Rusher's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Big's punch is far off the target. What an excellent two punch combo by Crusher. Big's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Here we go, round two is underway. Big so dangerous with that accuracy, a two punch combination landing. That was a miss by Big. Fires off the hook, look at that. Scores with the uppercut. Good double jab by Crusher. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Scores up top with a left. Double jab upstairs. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. I shake it off. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Unable to score with the hook. Good doubling up of the jab by Crusher. Crusher's got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fashion your seatbelt. More turbulence ahead. There's no need to be on the Russia's defense on. is it ever good. Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. How about that exchange? Don't walk into his punches. Oh, keep your feet moving. Precision work with the left hand by Crusher. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Last 10 seconds. A headshot block. Crusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just punches. Cox is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Come up, come up. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. And now another left. Keep moving, keep moving. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own.
Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Just ate a big uppercut. Look at that. Big down. He went down hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, man. Get up to your feet. Cox's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Still not moving enough. Move, move! Hook, hook! <laughs> Off the target by Big. <laughs> Keep moving! Keep moving! Able to get rid of that one. Cox is putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, Throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter. And the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's wanted. Work the body, kid. Body Ten seconds to go in this round. And that's the end of the early rounds of this fight. Bigs up two rounds to one on your scorecard, Teddy. What do you like about him so far? Well, I like the fact that he's busier, but I also like the fact that when he's not working, he gets out of range and he doesn't allow his opponent to win. That's why I got him winning. Not an accurate hook at all. Good job on the two-punch combo by Crusher. Cox's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Well off the mark that time. Ox is sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Hook off the chain, hook off the chain. Makes one, but gives one. Good work by Big. Crusher smashed by a hook. That hook was well off the mark. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. In and out. In and out. I don't know, Teddy, it just where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Scoring with the right hand by Crusher. Took a go of it, body became up empty. Little head knocking with that right hand. I know, right now, more punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see it. Let the fist go side to side. Move your head from side to side. Come on now. Halfway into round number five here. Get in, A crushing two-punch combo by Crusher. Now that's what we worked on at the gym. Good job, boy. Good job. Biggs just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Yeah. Crusher's doing him. well here with that two-punch combination. Come on, 
I keep protect yourself. Come on now, protect yourself. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Crusher's defense is paying off now. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Crusher's gathering doing him a good service in reminding him, yes, to this point. The later stages of this fight, you're in control, but still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. A little head hunting right back to it. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Jump on him. Nice. Fox's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Crusher. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Rusher's going about these middle rounds with a real solid game plan, and that game plan includes jabbing his way to the inside, and then once he's there, setting up camp. Yeah, you have to wonder. You don't wonder what he's doing. He's doing the right thing, but you wonder why his opponent is allowing this to go on, because he doesn't belong on the inside at all. And that's to win this fight, regardless of what you just saw in that last round. I mean, conventional wisdom down here is that it's a close competitive fight that he's trailing on the scorecards. But you can tell this fight can turn at any moment. Yeah, it's very close. I think right now, you gotta be the guy. It's kind of like an argument. You get into an argument with someone, you wanna have the last word. Whoever throws the last punches, you know, one guy throws three, you come back with four. Whoever's the last one to throw, he's gonna win. is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go. And now you Let see him scoring well with the... What a big shot. Perfectly executed combination. Cox is Two, down. He's going to have to beat the count. Four, get up. Five. Stand up, stand up. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Stay away from the inside, baby. Stay away from the inside. Good right hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Hawks is doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do a countering on the back end. By a right hand. Crushers. And the ref's not Time. He's done it again. Another head flash here. Head. And that That's headbutt one point. is going to cost him. The referee is deducting a point saying that was intentional. Oh! How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Get up, man. Five. Six. Seven. Get up, damn it. Come on now. That's just it.
Let's look at Teddy's scorecard to open up round number eight here. Ox is down. That seems pretty obvious. Worse than that, though, I don't think he could stay in there. I don't think he's got what it takes to mount the comeback. Unless he suddenly realizes what a... Wow! Unbelievable! Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Seven, eight, stand, nine, stand, stand, stand. ten. Come on, champ. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Rushers gun down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up.